filmed in front of a live studio audience. And welcome back to the channel, my friends. Uh, first of all, I want to say a big thank you to all of my subscribers. I have a little over a 50 now at the time of this taping. It's been a little over six months now since I started my channel, and I am so greatly appreciative of all you guys who are subscribing to me and viewing me, even if you're like commenting me on like one video, but it's it means a lot to me. So I really, 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 really want to say thank you. Thank you. You know, six months went by like really fast. Um, and I just wanted to think about all the times that I kind of just... So hey, I really want to make a YouTube channel, but I just kind of chickened out a lot. Uh, you know, 2008, 2011, 2012, 13, 14, all the years, all the years, all the years. Anyway, so if you're watching this video right now, I just want to say thank you. I don't know if I said that before, but thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And now to a commercial break. Do you ever feel like you've got your limbs on all wrong? And the new Jarbulba harness is for you. The Jarbulba harness relieves the following symptoms. Back pain, joint pain, insomnia, sleeping libido, nausea, rash, headache, chronic masturbation, ugliness, heartbreak, and restless leg syndrome. Caution, some side effects may cause violence, mood swings, fatal hemorrhaging, chronic masturbation, shitty prequels, and increased urination. In some instances, death may occur. Talk to your doctor or physician to see if the Jarboba harness is for you. Miss are so happy! Welcome back, guys. Guy Fieri here, and I'm taking you on another trip to Flavortown, USA. Fire up those grills. I'm gonna treat you in on my super secret recipe, Guy Sauce. Just kidding. I'm back. All right. So, let me tell you about something. Let's take a seat. <laughs> Alright guys, let me tell you a little bit of a story that happened today. My bird is a little bit of an asshole. Like, he won't eat anything good for him. He is so fucking picky. I'm not even joking. Nicole, you could use some more kale too, fat ass! Fucking rude. Anyway, so I got this little shit, some like fancy parakeet food. Like, I got it from someone who I did a job for. And this shit's like expensive probably. It's really nice. It's good for him. He won't fucking, no, he won't touch the shit, okay? He just kind of picks around it because I've mixed it in with his regular food and now it's like there's not enough seeds and he's just like starving himself because he's an idiot. I'm sorry, Mr. Bird. <laughs> Anyway, so I got this super fancy bird food. It's like not seeds, it's um, like little pellets or something, I don't even know what it is. Anyway, I got it from someone that I did a job for. Um, she kind of just gave me the extra bird food, she got it for the wrong bird. And I was really lucky to get that, I was like, hey, that's cool, I'll give that to my bird. Uh, of course, Mr. Bitch, being the little shit that he is, won't even try it. He will not even try it. Like, I tried mixing it with his regular food, and he just, it's pellets, so he tries to eat around the pellets because they don't open, like, seeds, and I guess that just really bothers him. So whatever, I made a mistake, now he's not eating his food because he's being a little bit of an idiot. So I had to get off my ass and go to the pet store. That's what I did. So I go to drag my ass to the pet store. Um, it's probably about 8 in the night, in the night, in the night. I'm retarded. I don't, I don't know what's going on up here, but I'd like it to stop. So let me paint the picture for you, okay? It's like 8 o'clock, it's night time, there's no sun out, like it's night, there's no one there in the store. It's a little creepy, okay? I go into the bird aisle, I just stare at some seeds like, hmm, what am I gonna get today? 
<laughs> well, bitch, I'm gonna get the fucking cheapest ass bitch ass seed that I can find, okay? That's where you got this little fucker. That's right, I'm gonna just put that there, okay? Don't fall. Okay, let's back it up a little bit, okay? So I'm in the bird aisle. There's like bird seed, bird toys, like other bird paraphernalia. There's bird stuff, okay? And then right across from the bird stuff, like on one side of the aisle, there's like tarantula, spiders, and lizards. Like, not the stuff you want near your like little pet parakeets. I'm just saying, okay? And my sister, of course, she goes like, Hey, Nicole! Why did you come here and look at the spiders with me? The tarantula huts. So I make my way over and I'm staring at these fucking tarantula huts. There's nothing inside. It's like going to the zoo and um, none of the favorite animals are are there. They're, who knows where the fuck they are? Where are they? Why are they always hiding? You know when you go to the zoo and you're like, I really want to see the fucking zebras. I'm sorry, zebras for you British. But you want to go see your fucking zebras, and they are not there. Like, there's a lot of plant life, and, like, the T-Rex is gone, okay? T-Rex wants to hunt. T-Rex doesn't want to be fed. Don't forget that. So, you know, anyway, the spiders aren't there, and whatever. That's no big D. Who fucking cares about spiders anyway? Let's go look at these fucking snakes and shit. Like, yeah. But, you know, I don't have a lot of time to look at this stuff. I have to go back. She's whining. I need to go. I need to go. All right, let me just kind of, you know, look at some bird toys for a little bit. You just just hang out with those, like, frogs and shit, whatever. Whatever you want. So I'm over there. I'm, like, looking at some bird toys. <laughs> and it, something catches my eye that, um... It just suddenly dawns on me. Here in the middle of this aisle, all over these bird toys and shit... There's like fucking spider webs all over everything. Like literally all over everything. There's uh, spider webs coating everything. And uh, the more I look, the more I see spider webs, okay? Everywhere I look, on everything. Like not even in this aisle, but like the aisle next to me. There's fucking spider webs everywhere. And I noticed that there's nothing in the tarantula huts, so I put two and two together, and uh, um, I casually, very, very slowly put down the perches that I had in my hand. You know, I don't want to, I don't want a tarantula surprise on anything I'm holding. Um, and uh, I slowly go into the middle of the aisle because if anything's gonna jump out and attack me, I think I'm gonna see it. So, I mean. That's just my, that's just how my mind works with, uh, like, arachnids. Um, stay in the middle and, uh, nothing will see you. Nothing will come get you. You'll see it first. You can run away. So I take my sister and I'm, uh, I'm guiding her out of the aisle at this point. I mean, what the fuck is going on? Did a fucking tarantula escape and is, like, running around this fucking store? So we're going. We're going from the bird aisle, um, and the tarantula aisle. <laughs> And uh, we go across, and you know, there's, there's like middle aisles, and they're like dog shit. And uh, we're going into the dog shit aisle, and uh, um, there's still web all over everything. Like, this fucking spider, or spiders, fucking traveled. You know what I mean? They took a vacation, okay? And it was not anywhere near where they were from. They're like, you're not safe in this fucking store. <laughs> when I hightailed it out of this fucking store and I'm never going back to that pet store that was the scariest thing in my life sadly yes I have um, some crippling arachnophobia and that was the scariest thing in my life anyway that's all I have to say but if you like this video please go ahead and subscribe and uh, give me a thumbs up or a comment or follow me on my Instagram and um, I guess that's it I hope to see you in the next video, guys.